Matrix and Roadshow fans, we are back with another video. And before we get into today's uh, topic here on this video, I wanted to let you guys know that the channel now has been remonetized. We were demonetized for about a year now and we are back now. And with that, channel memberships are also back. So click the join button, become a channel member today. We have two different tiers. However, if you do join today, we, we're actually going to be having a member live stream tomorrow. So go ahead and click the join button. And if you get the uh, the higher tier, tier plan, you actually get to be on a panel uh, with me and Rose talking about pretty much whatever um, you want to talk about. It's going to be channel members from here, black and white sports, as well as members of the website. So with that being said, guys, we're going to be talking about Tamor Morrison, who plays Django Fett. And, well, he actually, he's actually playing Boba Fett in the book of Boba Fett, but of course he played the clones and he also did play uh, Django Fett. Now, rumor had that the name of Boba Fett's ship, the Slave One, was no longer the Slave One. And this is not surprising to me, guys, because we know how uh, Disney Lucasfilm is now. They're destroying everything that George Lucas has created. It's been going on for many years now at this point. And even if you look at the way Boba Fett looks in a suit, it's not the way he looked in Return of the Jedi or The Empire Strikes Back. It's not the same suit. And I believe that um, if I'm not mistaken now, I could be wrong, is that George Lucas still held some rights to uh, the, the toys, the merchandise. So they went and they changed stuff. And I don't like it. I don't like the way his suit looks. That is not Boba Fett's suit as we knew it. But I, dig I digress. So now the Slave One has been confirmed to not be the Slave One. You can actually see here on Bounding in the Comments, the book of Boba Fett actor Tamor Morrison confirms name change for his iconic Slave One ship. And of course, you know that um, the people at Lucasfilm, I guess they were offended by the name Slave One, because the name is Slave One. Unreal. But it's let's go ahead and let's read this, guys. The Book of Boba Fett act actor Tamor Morrison, who previously played Jango Fett in Star Wars Attack of the Clones, confirmed that the name of his iconic Slave One starship has been changed. While promoting the show in an interview with The Rap alongside Finnick Shan actress, uh, mean not when they were asked, quote, Boba Fett, Boba Fett ship has been stripped of his name. So I was wondering, have you guys given any thoughts to what we could call Boba Fett ship now? And this is what Tamor Morrison had to say. Morrison answered, quote, I think we call it the fire spray. I think I mentioned it in a couple of episodes. Now, I actually don't remember in the first three episodes even seeing his ship because he hadn't really been doing much to tell you the truth. I mean, they have just completely wasted the, wasted the character. And I like uh, Tamor Morrison as Django Fett and as uh, Boba Fett in The Mandalorian. This guy here, I don't know who this character is. And you can see right here his suit. That is not the way uh, Boba Fett's suit actually looked. It's different because this is not the same Boba Fett that um, we knew. But Fire Spray, he confirmed that. Now, they met, this actually may be in some of uh, the Star Wars comics or the books. I don't really know. But he confirmed the slave one is dead. And I'm pretty sure that uh, Rhodes is not very happy about this um, at all. But let's go on. Back in June, it appeared Disney and Lucasfilm were removing the iconic title of Slave One. From the ship when Lego packaging featured the ship from the Mandalorian described uh, his ship as Boba Fett starship instead of Slave One. And yeah, you can see it right here. I don't know if you guys can see it, but over here on the left, um, it does say Boba Fett's starship. Not the Slave One. Not only did the packaging not describe the ship as Slave One, but Lego Star Wars design director uh, Jens uh, Kronbold. Fredrickson and Lego Star Wars lead designer Michael Stockwell explained that an order 
had come down to no longer use the name Slave One. Stockwell told Jedi News, quote, we're not calling it Slave One anymore. This is Boba Fett's starship. When asked why the name was changed, Fredrickson uh, said everybody is. It's probably not something which has been announced publicly, but it is just something that Disney doesn't want to use anymore because Disney wants to pander to the SJWs who do not care about Star Wars. The people that care about Star Wars are people like me, people like Rhodes, people that grew up respecting and loving what George Lucas created. These people over there at Disney, they don't care about what George Lucas created because they're not Star Wars fans. They have brought in all these people who are activists and not actually Star Wars fans. And so now they get triggered by the name Slave One. This is just sad, man. This is just really sad. And are they selling merch here? No, I think that's some, some fan right there. But what do you guys think of this? Tamora Morrison coming out and confirming that the Slave One is no longer the Slave One. Now, we've been expecting this for a while. And, and um, Tamora Morrison, who plays Boba Fett, has come out and confirmed it. I think eventually down the road, folks, man, they're just going to destroy everything that George Lucas has, has created. And they're going to keep pushing forward, forward with stuff like, you know, The Last Jedi, the sequel trilogy, Star Wars Resistance, stuff that people did not like. I mean, they have single handedly destroyed an entire franchise in the blink of an eye. I mean, this is the 10 year anniversary since George Lucas actually sold Star Wars to Disney. And people had a lot of hopes that we would get good Star Wars stuff. And we haven't. We just haven't. Not very much. There's been certain things. Uh, Clone Wars season seven was great. Um, I gave the final season a B minus. And the only reason I gave it a B minus because those middle four episodes with the uh, the SJW uh, Mart Martez sisters were horrific. That was a flat out F. So that's going to bring down the score. I liked uh, Rogue One. That's pretty much the only uh, Star Wars movie that they made that I actually like. Sequel trilogy, trash. Um, Solo, trash. Didn't like it. Did not like it whatsoever. That's just my thoughts on this. What do you guys think of this? Matrix and Roadshow fans, the slave one is no more. It is now Fire Spray, Boba Fett's Starship. Anyway, guys, let us know what you think about all this in the comments. Make sure you subscribe to the channel and we'll catch you next time.